the trial of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, Namdekanu, stalled on Tuesday, January 18, 2022, after he objected to the fresh charges brought against him by the federal government. The federal government had filed fresh terrorism charges against the detained leader of the proscribed IPO before the Federal High Court on Monday, January 17. Consequently, the initial seven counts bordering on treasonable felony and terrorism against him increased to 15. But during his trial, which held on Tuesday amidst heavy security presence, Kano objected to the fresh charges. The court is now expected to reconvene on Wednesday, January 19, for him to take his plea. Earlier in the day, one of the lead counsels for the IPOB leader, Ifai Ijofo, announced that human rights lawyer Mike Ezekome's son will now lead the delegation of lawyers representing Kanu. Addressing journalists after the proceedings, Ezekome said, I have consulted with my client with regards to the 15 counts charge. Some of the statements made by him that were not clear, which I pointed out to the court, the prosecution has been able to give me a copy that is more legible. With that, we will take the next step. No one is running from a plea being taken. But the point we made today, which the court appreciated, is that you can't take plea to counts that have not been given to you. We were served some minutes to 10 a.m. yesterday, a 15 count amended charge for a case coming up today, whereas the last date of adjournment was 2nd of December, so they had well over one month to do that, but they didn't. I believe that was intended to frustrate today's proceedings. In any event, that was the sixth time they amended the charge. Each time they amend, I file a preliminary objection they go back to the drawing board to re-amend. Meanwhile, pro and anti namdekanu protesters have hit the streets of Abuja. While the anti kanu protesters are accusing the IPOB leader of treason and calling for a speedy trial, the pro kanu group insists it is within the rights of IPOB to demand independence from the Nigerian state. From Lagos, this is Tina Timothy, News Express Nigeria Television.